Good morning, fans. Brad FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here, again towards month end, 30, 30 March. Um, pretty dull in FX. Uh, talking about this uh, dollar yen. We are sellers of dollar yen here. Uh, we sold some 98s. We're also going to offer between 05 and 10, as we talked about yesterday. We've also eased back into a KVN short uh, up here at this, where's KVN? Up here at uh, 7730, which is this 200 uh, unit bar. Nice tight stop, no, no drama here. Um, we do feel like risk is gonna turn. We also feel like 4,000 can trade in ES, uh, so. That is kind of feels like it's attracting a bit. So you got to be flexible here. You got to size this accordingly. This is not a leverage trade. And in general, when you fade, uh, you never leverage. Leverage is for a timed trade, normally a break trade, where you can be very, very sure of the short term price action. Um, when you fade, which is a much harder way to trade, uh, do not use leverage. Anyway, dollar yen was selling, uh, kiwi yen, we just sold some as well, up to 30. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Looking for the dollar turn. You can see someone's accumulating euros here at 60 uh, at the European Open in about 90 minutes. They're gonna punch through this. There's gonna be stops from Asian guys at 58, 57, 55. Um, watch this closely. I think we're gonna turn here. I think this is actually a good place to get long euros. Um, let's see, let's see how it trades through 60, um, how far it gets and if it reverses. The conservative, uh, I would say sort of professional would wait for 118.05, uh, and that sort of confirmation to get long. Uh, but if you got to be in your bonnet, you want to use 60 as a pivot, so maybe wait for 55 and buy back up through 60. If it crushes through 60 and it comes in 30 offered, don't buy it, right? That means it's fucking crazy town offered. Um, let the price be your guide. Uh, but if it fails, uh, have a look. Um, I'm trying to scoop some euros, same idea, sell some dollar yen through 110. So if you think about it, 110, 117, 15 euro, um, 4,000 in ES. These are all kind of big psychological numbers. Euro, not so much, 1750, but it's just come far enough, uh, let's just say, in my opinion. Dollars are, we're waiting to, um, we got tiny longs on. We're waiting to add through 1510. Did not happen yesterday. Um, just be patient with this. This will turn only when risk turns. Although, 10-year yield at 170, um, this isn't great for bears in dollars are in a 10-year yield. Gee, we new high, almost new high, 175 is new high. Uh, this looks like it's set to continue. We just got some uh, German CPI, which also came in pretty hot there. Rates, rates are going higher, people. Uh, this is not great for equities. It's not great for the entire risk complex. Um, we feel like eventually this is going to come home to roost. Um, maybe Friday this week. It looks like an incredibly dull week going forward. So maybe it's going to be Friday. Anyway, what else is out there? Uh, Dollar CAD not doing much. Now we're waiting for 127.50. Kiwi, uh, and also not doing much. This is a sell at 71 cents. Uh, but I don't think we're going to see that anytime soon. Um, gold, just not doing anything, right? Figure 40. Bitcoin back at the top of the range. Um, Bitcoin looks like she wants to go higher now. She's been dicking around, been waiting for this to go back down to 40. She doesn't want to go back down to 40. Um, you could probably buy some Bitcoin. Bitcoin looks uh, pretty stable.
steady here. We own some Stellars and some Ethereum, um, but uh, Bitcoin also looks 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 pretty steady. Dollar Turkey talked about this. This is going to ten. Um, nice job, guys. Uh, like I don't know. They're gonna write a little one of those little yellow books how to run a central bank for dummies or something like they're doing an excellent job over there. Um, God bless them. Uh, finally, let's just take a look at ES. This thing looks like she wants to touch 5,000. Yesterday was a good day for it to turn. 39.80, the high. Uh, we haven't broken it yet. Really nothing sort of a day uh, yesterday. Inside day. But close at the highs, pretty robust close. Um, this psychological 4,000 moment uh, is probably something to fade first time. Uh, are we going to trade 39.96.50? Uh, I don't know. It's something up there. Uh, kind of coincides with this dollar, dollar yen idea as well. Anyway, you can see uh, we're a little low on, low on ideas here. We're going to fade this dollar yen today. Uh, in a very unleveraged, low-risk fashion. We sold some Kiwi Yen, I think just because we're bored. Um, not a lot to do in FX these days. So, um, I don't know. That's all I got for now. Maybe the back end of the week will be more interesting. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you.